Want to know how to succeed in Hollywood or anywhere in the entertainment business? You are not the only one. The truth is, many aspiring filmmakers have self-sabotaging patterns and get in their own way of success. And they get in the way of the success of others, sometimes causing projects to crash and burn. This is not at all unique to just those in the filmmaking community. This is something everyone has been either guilty of at some point or another in their own lives or have witnessed it firsthand. The thing is, most people get caught up in the wrong details. They don't follow through, they don't return calls, cause risk within the organization to divert attention from what they're supposed to be doing. Ever popular, do the exact opposite of what is needed to close a deal to get that first check. And all the while telling those involved that everything is moving forward as planned and all along the project has been left hanging in midair and no one had the decency to tell you. Sound familiar? I'm going to tell you how our brain has hardwired an avoidance of pain mechanism built into it by creating pleasure. Creating pleasure? It happens when we're looking into an unfamiliar set of life events that can be very positive. If we are in a positive situation, in work, or with a new person, the time comes when we may begin second-guessing things. And when that happens, our brains just stop. Forward momentum just stops. As members of the new Hollywood generation, as part of following your Hollywood dream, I want to challenge you to identify if you're sab self-sabotaging your own life. I want you to think about those close to you and identify if there is someone in your life that may be doing the same to themselves or to make an effort to bring others down with them. All of this coming up. Welcome to Hollywood Unapologetic. My name is Rolando Delbert. I want to speak a little bit about filmmaking essentials, identifying self-sabotaging behavior, taking control of how we associate ourselves with success and the new Hollywood generation. I should mention before we get into it, I first wrote about some of what we're about to touch upon, success in filmmaking in life and how it applies as part of the new Hollywood generation when I was writing Pollyanna's tear soaked Battlefields of Hollywood, Survival Guide Against the Cynicism and the Hypocritical. If you want to know your questions, comments, and suggestions you may have, please write them below, leave a thumbs up if you like what you see, make sure you click on the subscribe button, click that bell so you don't miss anything. Be sure to check out the videos in a playlist. New to film production? Start here. Be sure to watch all of the way through. <laughs> We're going to speak about a lot of things as part of being prepared. Remember, preparation is the key to you and your project success. You ready? Over my working in and around the entertainment industry for decades, I'd hear over and over again, you know, I work really hard and get to see a break, but I seem to really mess things up every time. I push and push and when I see a glimmer of light in front of me and boom, I screwed up yet once again. I miss a meeting or I show up only to say the wrong things. I lose track of important closing details or I just don't follow through. I don't understand why I keep doing this. Does this sound familiar? Does this sound like something you've said or thought about? Let me ask you, does this sound like self-sabotaging behavior? If you're self-sabotaging yourself, deep down inside you're expecting that if you follow through, you're going to bring on some more pain in your life. And for some, succeeding is going to create pain. I can't tell you how many projects I've been part of where there's one person who was so afraid of success that the possibility of causing themselves pain, they've sabotaged the whole thing. Not to mention the hundreds of my own projects I've started with my own money and countless hours of my own time, I've brought in someone I've known for years, many of whom I've already worked with on clients' projects. When the situation reaches a make or break point, that person needs to do one thing, they just don't. They don't follow through, they don't return calls, they call rifts within the organization to divert attention from what they're supposed to be doing. They disappear, poof, gone. Where did he go? And that ever a popular do the exact opposite of what is needed to close a deal and see that first check. And all the while telling those involved everything is moving forward as planned and all along the project has been left hanging in mad air and no one had the decency to tell you. What's interesting about the whole line of thought is that far too many people don't like seeing you succeed either. When something goes right, good time friends show up to see what they can get from you. And when things go poorly, even more people want to be sympathetic and join in your misery. You know, one of the television networks I worked at, one of my friends won his first Emmy Award as a producer. A mutual friend and I both already had Emmy Awards congratulated him. He told us we were the only two people out of the hundreds that worked there that did. And he's been there over 10 years and up to that point, he was uh, well liked. I think of this because when people want to keep you down instead of lifting you up, one can develop a mindset, even if it's on a subconscious level, that if I do well, I'll be attacked, I'll be hurt. You know what? You and I have to take control. We have to not give others the power to tear us down, and we have to change how we associate ourselves with success. I've seen it in the Hollywood trenches so many times that automatically associate 
Bad decisions are self-sabotaging behavior. I saw it when I was a studio musician in New York. I saw it when I worked in theater productions in different cities. It's part of being human that we make mistakes and that's okay. We sometimes make bad decisions and that's okay. The thing is deciphering the difference between what is bad choice that didn't turn out the way you would have liked and self-destructive behavioral patterns that keep you from a better quality of life. What's something to be mindful of is that the patterns of behavior we all have done are done with a positive intent. I want you to let that sink in for a moment. Patterns of behavior you and I have all done are done with a positive intent. Our brain has hardwired an avoidance of pain mechanism by creating pleasure. It's more easily seen with those who do drugs, those who smoke, those who drink, anyone who has a vice that may have started as a way to relieve stress or to feel good at the moment. One doesn't begin doing drugs thinking about addiction. One doesn't begin smoking thinking about getting cancer. It also happens when we're looking into an unfamiliar set of life events that can be very positive. If we are in a positive situation in work, with a new person, a time comes when we begin to second guess things. And when that happens, our brains just stop, for momentum just stops. What's worse is that for those who may be having a hard time figuring out what the right thing to do with this new set of circumstances, there's always someone around the corner that will help add to the crazy. They'll instigate negative lines of thought into your head and just pile on more pressure that you sure don't need. And some of those people link pain to everything in their own lives and then have to pass it along and bring others down with them. Is my speaking about identifying self-sabotaging behavior and taking control of how we associate ourselves with success make any sense? If it does, write, write hashtag New Hollywood Generation in the comments below. That's hashtag New Hollywood Generation. Here's my challenge to you. I mention all of this because if you want to head west to Los Angeles to follow your Hollywood dream, you want to be on stage for the first time at your local bar, or want to do anything that's unfamiliar that may lead to success and happiness, it is important to identify if you're self-sabotage your own life. I really want you to give that some thought. And while you're at it, think about those close to you and identify if there is someone in your life that may be doing the same to themselves or make an effort to bring others down with them. I want you to make a list of where you would like to see yourself in a year, five years, ten years, and create a timeline from today on. I want you to start making short-term goals that will help you get to where you want to be in a year and so on. I even want you to think about obstacles you have had in the past or in your own way now and see if there are any patterns. See if you can identify reoccurring behavior or just actions that just didn't work out. The entertainment business is a hard place to be in. There are many charlatans and sharks in suit waiting for the naive and uninitiated with the two-sidedness of this whole ethos. They know there is a never-ending sea of young talent bust in every single day and they'll have their eyes on. They are the predators awaiting for the meek. As members of the new Hollywood generation, it is important for us all to be supportive of one another, to help guide others away from predatory behavior, as well as be a positive voice to those who need it to help empower one another to empower an industry, the film industry. And more importantly, this exercise is a fundamental part to succeed Hollywood, the indie film industry, and a fundamental filmmaking essential you won't learn in any film school. This is a life lesson. If you enjoyed the content, please subscribe and click on the bell to know when we have more for you. And more episodes are coming. Please share with someone you know who may find what we spoke about today beneficial. Like if you like what you see, just like if you don't. Let us hear from you. Are you going to use what we discussed today? Yes or no? Let us know in the comments below. Please consider what I offered you today and consider what your role is as a new generation of content creators. And feel free to take advantage of other members in the new Hollywood generation community. We're all here to grow together and to help one another. We have a strong group on Twitter. Come join the New Hollywood Generation and meet some fellow filmmakers and content creators. As members of the New Hollywood Generation, take the time to assess what your short-term and long-term goals are. Create a timeline of where you are today and where would you like to see yourself in a year, two years, five years, ten, professionally, financially, and personally. Do your research and learn what you can about technology, distribution outlets, contracts, and of course set etiquette and protocols. All of these things are important and help to make you a value to others in our industry and to yourself. The lessons learned as a content creator can help build leadership qualities and an entrepreneurial approach to life. The process will help you build structure and the discipline needed to truly be a success. Use this information as a tool so you can pr protect your integrity and yourself better. Don't forget to have fun with it. Making a film takes a lot of effort and see all of the way through, but definitely can be worth it. Your experiences stay with you for the rest of your life. Make your plan, take a breath, go for it. You can do it once you believe you can. Are you ready for the challenge?
If you're looking for filmmaking for beginners, filmmaking 101, and for some filmmaking tips on how to want to be a filmmaker, <laughs> make sure to click on the subscribe button. Click that bell so you don't miss anything. Looking for how to filmmaking essentials? Be sure to check out the videos in the playlist. New to film production? Start here. Think of this channel as a film crash course or filmmaking crash course and an introduction to filmmaking entrepreneurship to build the skills needed well beyond just how to succeed Hollywood and beyond whatever discussion other how to film school, how to indie filmmaking, in general, how to film industry channels don't talk about. The wise you truly need to know to help you grow as a thought leader in life the entertainment industry and how it applies as part of the new Hollywood generation is in this video series and in the Pollyanna's tear-soaked battlefields of Hollywood a survival guide against the cynicism and the hypocritical series of books links below remember preparation is the key to you and your project success ready 